Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna do a response to John Venus. Yes, John just opened up a new channel called Vegan by John. On that channel, he used a picture of me for his recent video where he describes the current plague of ex-vegans popping up. Is everybody an ex-vegan nowadays? John wonders. Guys, the video is very, very lengthy. Hence, I'm not going to do a classical response where I stop the video and give you my answer. But I'm going to address this video straight to you, John. All right, let me ask you a question. What is going on? What is truly going on here? A couple of weeks back, you denounced veganism. You said that you don't want to be vegan anymore. No longer identified with that label. The vegans are too radical. The vegans are too ideological. You do not identify with it. Actually, you do not even care anymore, right? Those were your words. For that, of course, you got the backlash. The vegan hate. It was all over the place. People started hating John. Hence, John had to delete the video, right? Delete the video and redeem himself. Redeem himself to the vegan religion. How do we do it? Open up a whole new channel. Vegan by John was born. This is what we saw recently. This is how far the brainwashing goes. John, let's be honest, man. Who cares? Let's be honest. Who cares? If you do not care about the vegan movement, why are you to be blamed? It is all right, man. You are your own man. I applaud you. You opened up a successful business, meal plans, workout plans and whatnot. People like you for you. Some vegans will only like you for that cause. But I assume that you're much more than just veganism. But because you have been indoctrinated like so many others, you feel the need to justify yourself. Now you have this new channel where you talk about that you faced real physical issues, but you disqualify your own body and say, it must have been the placebo effect. This is how far the vegan indoctrination goes. You start to distrust your own senses. Now you truly believe that your mind plays a trick on you. Somehow you feel bad because you've been thinking too much about that subject. You wouldn't be the first one to suffer on this type of diet. Genetic predispositions play a huge role in this. Of course, you're from Norway, if I'm not mistaken. Norwegian people evolved to eat a ton of fish. You do not convert vitamin A and DHA, EPA properly. This is why you could face issues, of course. But now you blame the placebo effect. It can't be the vegan diet. And brother, the only reason why I make this video is because I've been there myself. I was a vegan for four years. An ethical vegan. I loved veganism. Everything about it. To this very day, I do love animals. But when I opened up my eyes, I realized that veganism is not the way to go. In which world would it be acceptable to sacrifice your health? In what world is it acceptable to kill billions of animals for the agriculture of plants and pretend that we are so righteous? If you truly love animals, you would look into it. This is why I am making a documentary on exactly this topic. I will disclose that there is much more by kill in plant production. But anyways, you yourself said in this video that you want to keep it positive. And so do I. I have absolutely no hate for you. Quite the opposite. Only love. If I see you, I see a family man. I see a guy that wants to do the right thing for himself and for his family. Please do not go down that route. We have so many ex-vegans coming out of this cult after 5, 10, 15, even up to 20 years. Permanently damaged their 
bodies. Don't feel obliged to keep the vegan label. You already made the first step. Only because of that backlash, you start deleting videos. Trust your own gut, John. Do it for yourself and do it for your family. I only wish you and your family the best, the best of health from the bottom of my heart. Your baby is growing up. It is a young born child that requires mother's milk. It is not vegan, John. Even though you like to believe that your child is vegan, that couldn't be further from the truth, man. Let's face it, it drinks mother's milk filled with saturated fats and cholesterol. This is what is found in mother's milk. How out of a sudden this becomes unhealthy? That, let alone, should be an indicator for the indoctrination of veganism. Out of a sudden, some doctor, and you yourself admit that they don't know everything, will tell you that saturated fats and cholesterol are bad. Because that is found in meat equals bad equals cigarette smoking. They compare eggs to cigarette smoking. This is brainwashing. How can it be so bad if you can feed a young born child with it? How can it be bad if it is the only nutritional source for an infant? It is the healthiest food there is. We are well adapted to drink mother's milk. We are well adapted to eat cholesterol and saturated fats. Every single cell in your body is made out of cholesterol. We are cholesterol and saturated fats and proteins. This is what we are. This is what we thrive on. And deep down, John, you know it, man. You know it. This is why you make those videos. You make those videos not for the masses. You make those videos for yourself. What I see here is a monologue. It is a self-reflection. You are truly questioning your religion. And that is amazing, man. Honestly, I know I can sound a bit harsh when I go onto my rants, I'm screaming into this microphone. I don't mean it that way. Quite the opposite. All I truly want is for you to wake up because you seem like a great guy. Honestly, if I see you somewhere outside, I would shake your hand, I would have a drink with you or whatnot. I would rather have sushi with you, but that is up to you, of course. You say it yourself, veganism is an experiment. You, you're a grown adult. If you really want to experiment on your own body, I say it's a shame. But of course you have every right in the world to do so. But when it comes down to your children, I do not understand why you would risk it. You are already giving your child an animal product with the breast milk. Why not proceed from there? Why not give your child the possibility to develop healthful? Why do not give your child the possibility to make his own choices when he grows up. Please, John, don't let your own bias destroy your child's health. I wish him nothing but the best from the bottom of my heart. In the end of the video, you proceed and say that the only reason why we see so many ex-vegans is because of the YouTube algorithm. John, that is not true. The ex-vegan phenomena has become a movement in its own right. People finally feel comfortable to speak out. Back in the day, they would get guilt-tripped. Back in the day, they would get shamed. The vegan backlash, the vegan hate, you did it wrong, you've never been vegan, so on and so forth. People heard that for the past 5 or 10 years, but now it is enough. Now you have people over 20 years on the vegan diet seeing what it did to their body. Those people are in their 40s, 50s, 60s now and they want to reach out to you, the young generation that is gullible and is buying into this movement, into this dietary cult where people with pseudo-scientific claims are convincing the masses, are convincing the young people of today that somehow magically it is better to eat all of those powders and potions, all of those superfoods are somehow miraculously better for your health. Our environment has been sterilized. This is why we need B12 supplements. Sure, you don't eat meat anymore. Don't you worry. Vivo Life has a protein powder just for you. What about collagen? Do we need healthy tendons? No, not really. But guess what? Sun Warrior just came out with a new supplement, a vegan collagen powder. How about fish? Healthy, 
the Mediterraneans have been eating it. The blue zones. No, not healthy either. What is really healthy is to go straight to the source and get the algae supplement. Don't you see what this is? It is marketing. They're marketing bullshit products to you to mask the symptoms that you will face when you're eating only plants. Our physiology is not made out to thrive on plants, period. When I see people that are okay on a vegan diet, I do not see people thriving on a vegan diet. I see people being alright despite of the vegan diet. Eating meat is our birthright. But anyways, I'm going on a rant here. I want to keep it short. John, this video is addressed to you. As I said, all I see right now is you being confused. But the good news is that you're questioning your ideology. I salute you to that. I want to let you know that you will be appreciated as a person, no matter if you are vegan or not. Do the right thing for you and for your family. Reclaim your health. This is all for today. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace. Thank you.